It looks like Serial Dessers will be staying at Rangers for the 2024-2025 season, despite the club being willing to let him go. Welcome back, guys, to Fog Football. And the Scottish Sun are reporting that Dessers was actually close to leaving Rangers over the past few days. Not because Dessers wanted out or he wanted to go, but Rangers were close to accepting a bid. They were close to agreeing a deal with MLS side Atlanta, who were interested in bringing the 29-year-old Nigerian to America to put him in their team to add some firepower up front. Rangers were listening to the offer, according to The Sun, but it was Serio Dessers that reportedly shut down the transfer because he does not want to move away from Rangers this summer. So, obviously hearing this, a little bit surprised straight away that Rangers would be willing to let Dessers go. I mean, you look at the attacking options that Rangers have right now, and there's not a lot. There's not a lot at all. I mean, they've got Dessels, Danilo, and that's pretty much it. So I'm, I'm surprised that Rangers were even considering it. But the Sun are saying that uh, reports come from America and they are suggesting that Dessels had emerged as a target for MLS side Atlanta United, who are still on the hunt for a replacement for ex-Celtic star Georgius Giamakis, who joined Cruz Azul in June. According to Italian journalist Luca Bendoni, an official bid was launched for the striker in an attempt to bring him across the pond this summer. It's claimed that the American side have been in negotiations with Rangers over a six million dollar, which is approximately four point six million pounds, deal for the player, and that an agreement between both clubs was close. However, it was Dessers that wasn't interested in the move. He is the one that essentially turned it down and bringing the move to a halt. So. Interesting, that would be enough to get the money back that Rangers originally bought Dessos for. Had this deal went ahead, Rangers would have broke even and they would have got their money back for Dessos. Is that what Rangers were looking for? I mean, possibly if they got their money back for Dessos a year ago, we would have been saying Rangers have done well because he started his Rangers career horribly. I think he's improved since then, so who knows? Maybe there's something for Dessos still to do at Rangers. Maybe he can be successful. At Rangers, but I do think it's interesting that Rangers were the ones willing to let him go. I mean, if Dessers goes, that pretty much leaves Rangers with just Danilo as a real recognised centre forward, as a striker. And for me, Danilo may originally come into the club ahead of Dessers, but over the past 12 months, there's no way that you can say Danilo is better than Dessers. You can't have Danilo above Dessers in the pecking order, and you can't have Danilo going into your season as the number one striker if you want to try and win the title from Celtic. I mean, that's just not going to work. So I am surprised that Rangers were willing to let Dessers go. However, Clement has essentially come out and says that for players to come in, players will need to leave. So maybe Rangers are content on letting Dessers go if it means they will be able to add to the firepower up front, maybe they are happy to let Dessers go and then spend the incoming money on replacing him with a new striker. But for me, the, the lack of quality and the lack of depth that Rangers have up front, I'm surprised that they'd take that chance. I'm surprised that they'd be willing to let Dessers go and then hope that they can replace him. For me, I know they said they don't have the money, but I would be buying first and then selling. I mean, Rangers aren't in a position where they can leave themselves with just Danilo up front. I mean, that's just not going to work. So, yeah, surprised to hear about this. But I think Dessers, he wants to stay at Rangers. He seems committed to the club. Uh, you know, when he first came in, I thought he was one of the worst strikers to ever play for Rangers. But, I mean, I think he has improved. I'm not going to sit here and say that he's great. He still misses a lot of chances. But I don't think he's as bad as he was originally made out to be. I think he still gets a lot of criticism, and a lot of people, when they talk about Dessels, they're still talking about the Dessels that we've seen in the first three, four, five months of his Rangers career. Is he a top-quality player? Absolutely not. But I don't think he's as bad as he was originally made it to be. And, you know, when you look at his goal-scoring record, it speaks for itself. It's actually very decent. And that's with him, you know, being poor in front of goal and missing a lot of chances. Could you imagine if he actually improved on his finishing and he actually started taking more chances? The guy would be a goal-scoring machine. So, I mean, who knows? Maybe he will improve this season. He had a chance to leave 
and he's decided that he wants to stick it out. Rangers, maybe they've decided that they just want to cash in and get their money back, but Dessler doesn't seem to want to go anywhere, and that means then he will be staying at Rangers, unless, I don't know, may maybe a bigger club will come in, a, a club that is a more attractive than Atlanta. Will that change Dessler's mind? Potentially. But there you go, guys. Rangers willing to let Dessler's go. Bit of a strange one to me. Maybe that's how they get Shankland in. Maybe that's how they get a, a, a new striker in, by letting Dessler's go. But, yeah, I just don't think that's worth the risk. You, you can't have Danilo be the only guy up front, really. Yeah, that, that would suck. It's not going to work. Rangers are in a horrible state right now. And, yeah, getting rid of your, you know, your, your number one goal scorer for last season. Uh, that makes zero sense to me. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think down below. Dessler's... Has he got a career at Rangers? Can he turn that around? I think he can. To me, I think I can't believe I'm saying this. I think Rangers need Dessers right now. And that is strange, considering how much stick and flack this guy has taken over the past 12 months. But it is what it is, you know. Without Dessers right now, Rangers would be in trouble. He came on, he changed the game against St Johnston. Um, the, the guy, it is what it is. He's Rangers' biggest threat right now. It looks like the goals have dried up from James Tavernier as well. So... When you look at it, I think Rangers need Dessels more than they've ever needed them before. So, yeah. Anyway, guys, we'll see what happens. Let me know your thoughts down below. I'll catch you in the next one. Been Fog Football. Thanks for watching and peace.